Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play Trails Through Daybreak Part 74. In the previous video, we, I don't know, we talked to people, it was fun. Oh, this is the Dizzy Simulator. Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna freaking girl. Mary's fine, she, she wasn't even bothered by all that. They're letting me come along to the next business trip. Not a lot of people wanted to go because it has to do with our herbal products and people think those are a real hassle. Who cares? Like it's going on a trip. All expenses are paid for more about my company. Who's bothered by a little hassle just to go on a paid trip like that? Not me. I mean, that's what I was saying earlier and you were like, oh no, actually it sucks. Now that it's settled, it's time to start meeting some quotas. I'm gonna leave work early today to start preparing for my work trip. Now, I think I would actually probably be in her position pre-work trip. Of like, this is horrible, how could this happen to me? I, I don't want to leave anywhere, I want to go to my, my home where I live. Hey, we're going to check this. What and have we got? Since we only talked to people last video, I would like to do at least a little bit of something. My father's come ensnared by a suspicious new religion. I don't want to force him to quit. But I'm rather worried that I haven't heard from him, and so I ask if it's possible for you to check on his safety. I went and bought the pedestrian bridge near the Orville store. Shoo pee pee. The scent's still not gone. I'll check the next board. Man, you got a problem. Golden blood is still in theaters. Mafia spread all throughout the Republic. Even the higher-ups are telling us to keep a close watch on everything. I knew they were getting worse as of late. We're gonna need the traffic department's help to clamp down on things. Wait, what? The... The Mafia? What the fuck's the traffic department gonna do against the Mafia? Hey, boss. You want me to go pay out that parking ticket for you? Okay. Of course, boss. On, on my way, sir, boss, sir. I saw my mom friends with tips with handling Mina's attitude. Absolutely none of them worked. Why oh, would Mina listen to me? Maybe you don't deserve command respect. I gotta go to the post office today and then the journal store. You'll be good today, right? No tantrums? I need to be a good girl today. I'm not a good girl. Fuck. <laughs> she boned me. That Mina, she boned me. Come on, Mina, please cooperate. Yeah, I don't know what you do there. That, that's uh, that's why you don't have kids, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So One Picture's gonna look so good. I got a banger angle on it. Hey, uh, lady, don't we come by Treon Tower all the time? I thought you were bored of it. But now you're all up in, talking about getting the perfect shot and all that? I don't get you. Oh, chill out! You know it's for social media. I told you I got into that recently. You gotta totally like my post, Greta. You gotta smash it, baby. What? That, I lost you. You're just speaking another language. Kopka gets real weird sometimes. I don't even know what she's talking about half the time. I'm normal, unlike her. Yeah, that was me. You know, I, I play the role of a normal person who's actually weirder than everyone else, but maintains the facade of normality in order to become the most boring person you could ever possibly meet. But, on the plus side, nobody knows anything about you, so you got that going for you. There can be no negative opinions if you have nothing that people can be negative about. The next generation will inherit the title of I saw my dad browsing this thing called social media on his horrible computer the other day. It's actually kind of cool. You can post all sorts of things there, and people can be like like your posts, and so it feels real nice when you get them. Not a lot of girls posting about their day to day yet, so it's the perfect niche for me to swoop in and fill. One of the seniors is getting married today, and I'm invited. No more worrying about job, bun. Tonight it's time to party. I even got him a present. I'll surprise him with it at the party. What, brother? Who the hell are you? <laughs> alright, alright, let's talk to- let's talk. 
Hi, it's me, Stefan. You may have seen my brother, Raymond. You, Stefan, the guy that wrote the request? With Orcod Solutions. You really came! Oh, thank goodness. I was worried you wouldn't even see my request. You mentioned worrying about the safety of your father. Yeah, he got himself caught up in suspicious sound in new religion. What makes it suspicious? Well, it's new. And all religions are suspicious until they've been around a long enough time. And then it's like, well, I guess they're just like a thing now. What he chooses to believe is his own choice, of course. But I haven't been able to get in touch with him for some time now. Well, I'd like you to try and find out if he's all right or not. That's all. I want us to try and knock some sense into him. Well, that's the most people in your position would try and do. Uh, I don't really know how knocking some sense into him. I feel like that's not really going to have the intended effect. I've got mixed feelings on the whole situation, to be honest. That religion in particular. Hasn't been all bad on us or him, really. Have you heard about him? They're called Libra Domina. Never heard of it, no? Nor have I. Its fundamental beliefs are largely the same as those of Septian Church, you know, because if they had any other beliefs, they'd get evaporated by, I don't know, fucking a random artifact. They worship Adios, for one, okay? We're not, we're not like, bad dudes, alright? We worship Adios. I feel like it's what everybody says. Just, it's like the get-out-of-jail-free card from getting, you know, not orbital beamed by the Holy Church. Is you say, we totally love the Adios lady. 100%. On top of that, it's also based heavily on the concept of karma. Doing good deeds brings rewards, while bad ones do the opposite. Doesn't sound so bad to me. Actually, it's terrible. As I said, it's actually done a lot of good for him. Father was kind of a terrible person before he joined him, you see. He refused to work and would just spend all his time either gambling or drinking himself silly. Mom got tired of it and they eventually divorced. I didn't see him after that. Well, not until recently. When I finally met him again, it was like he's a totally different person. A friend of his apparently recommended he join the church, which he did. And the church put him back on the right track. Pretty much, you came a real hard worker and dropped both drinking and gambling. He's shown a grip for turning his back on his family at the time, too. I can't say it's all bad. I'm partly happy he joined, actually. So what? You can't keep saying I can't say it's all bad, and then you've never listed anything bad yet. I just can't shake this anxiety I feel the more I hear about him. What have you heard about them? Once people join the church, they start trying to convince everyone and anyone to join too. I believe that's one of the basic tenets of religion. It's the thing that makes a belief system or an ideology. I would, you could argue that the proselytizing is the key facet of religion. Recruiting more members is considered one of the good deeds I mentioned earlier, and it lets you level up as a person. Also, they fucking hate psychiatry. <laughs> I've heard those who donate particularly large sums of mirror are given special blessings by the religion's guru, too. Father's hoping that if he does enough good deeds, he'll be able to bring our family back together. Nothing wrong with wanting to do good things, yeah, but I'm not too sure about the recruitment and donations. The Arusha I believe in has no interest in such things. So that's why you're worried? Yeah, but like the Arusha we believe in loves fat stacks. And who are you to tell me that my god is wants the wrong thing? Maybe your god wants the wrong thing. Ah, and then we're going to fight each other for the next hundred years. Or thousand years. Or forever. I mean, what if it's the tip of the iceberg? What if there are worse things happening behind closed doors that I don't know about? So could I ask you to go and check on him? This is really a job more fit for us than the Guild of the Cops. What should we do? Should we check the job on right now? Yeah, sure. We'll take your job on. With that settled, next step is figuring out where to start looking. You said a friend of your dad's the one that convinced you to join the church, yeah? Yeah, that's right. His name is Carson. I remember hearing that he's usually in the Riverside District. Around the Terrence area specifically. I think most people that want to join their religion or have any sort of interest in it go through him. Good to start as any. Let's head to Riverside and see if we can find this Carson. We'll let you know if we learn anything useful. Thank you. Good luck. 
We should go ahead and make our way over to the Terrence area of the Riverside District. Yeah, he just said that. Rosette's ass was totally browsing the internet and like behind her eyes the whole time. And then it's just like, we should go do the thing. And they're like, yeah, we already said we were going to do the thing. Wolves Requiem. No actual wolves in the movie. The wolves are a metaphor. There are no cool wolves in this movie. To reiterate, there are no cool wolves in this movie. Parsons over at Riverside, usually around the stalls. Anyone knows what's going on with Dad or be him? I'm sorry for getting you involved in this mess. I can't thank you enough for helping. I can't thank you enough for giving me money. I guess we're kind of... Well, we'll do everything except the bracelet guild. We'll save that for later. Or, well, I may not remember to come back. Well, as he basically got to spit it out for Ilhan realized what he was uh, here really to do was spy on us. Yeah, he's a department store administrator from across the street. Probably wanted to steal some trade secrets. Figure out why we're so popular. Nah, what a sucker. Maybe I'll steal an idea too, but our techniques will forever elude him. And that's because there's no real technique. Most of the time, we just rely on Ilhan getting a sudden Eureka moment. None of us really knows how that works. Wait, saying it out loud doesn't make you feel any better. Always implement new and innovative ideas, but the most are just whatever Ilhan sudden new plans are. It's all spare of the moment. I don't really get it. He might be a genius after all. He's going as he is. Need help with something? I mean, second HP is not bad. That actually is kind of worth. Unfortunately, my money, it doesn't exist. Strom. Get water and wind in two slots. It's not bad. Could be well. Now you get to you get to roll an aura breath. That's actually pretty good for Anya's. Pretty pretty good. Now she does lose a ton of spells. Like she'll lose a lot of her support stuff if we do this. We can still pop like Laforte on her. Troll is kind of overkill though. Well, I guess it's really not. I mean, it's kind of overkill, because Tarara is like kind of good enough and costs way less EP. But I guess we'll go ahead and buy it. Any of this shit new? No? Do we not already have this? I think we already have this. Maybe we just have it set on an ornament mod. Oh yeah, I think it's just part of the ornament. Or not the ornament, the driver, or whatever you call it. You know what I mean. I'm not opening any of your slots. Van's somewhat close to being able to, well, maybe not that one. Maybe Van will just, he doesn't need all of his slots. Can anyone truly say they need all of their slots? Can any among us make that claim? Thanks for being such a good customer. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I changed my mind. I'm going to, because we still have to do the grocery store as well. I forgot about that place or the department store. So you know what? We'll come back because I do want to try and finish this quest. Tra travel menu. Heading to the objective. So we'll just have to remember to come back there. Yeah. This is what the person my client told me about. Hey there, you're Carson, yeah? Seven told me to come to you. Ah, yes, so you know Walton's son, then. I'm Carson. I'm pleased to know you have an interest in our activities. Allow me to explain Libra Domina. Yeah, about that. It's kind of open we could hear all this from Stefan's dad. You know, Walton, I mean. I see. Unfortunately, Walton's been dead for 15 years. What kind of religious service? 
Ah, yes, Walton hasn't been able to make us tithes lately, I believe. He's helping out with services to the church. After all, ties and good deeds both pay the road to a virtuous life. Oh, if you'd allow me to explain our faith to you, I will. Well, we're basically like the Septian Church, except we just want your money. Isn't that pretty cool? Ah, ah. You wish to join the Libra Domina faith? You didn't say anything. Brother, brother, you can't, you can't just be like, hey, would you like to join my religion? Can you tell me anything about it? Ah, that comes after, that comes after. Of course, I can imagine you to experience the wonder of our belief first. As it happens though, you are in fact quite fortunate. You see, we're scheduled to soon hold the ceremony of purifying sales. scales. Yeah, scales, not sales. <laughs> A little slip of the tongue there. The ceremony of purifying scales? What's that? Well, to start with, I should make it clear that the Libra, in our face name, is the same Libra of the Scales. All is made equal by Scales. Judgment is passed in the ceremony. Good shall be repaid with evil, and evil shall be repaid in evil. Uh-huh, so that's the particular flavor of your faith. What should happen when the Scales tip? You, uh, we take all your money! That's the thing, you take a coin purse, and the current purse that you put on the scale has to outweigh the paperweight we put on the other side, and if it doesn't, outweigh the paperweight then we could legally kill you and take the coin purse either way you lose with the coin purse so you better make sure it's pretty hefty you know what I mean well for one those who have done much good our guru will grant them a blessing it says that a boy for one who's done little good or has done too much evil our religious leader hands down divine punishment spanks them don't like the sound of that. What does the divine punishment of yours entail? Uh, should it be called for, they'll be forced to even the scales with their own blood. Wait, with their blood? How exactly? You ever seen Saw 6? 5? One of them? One of those two? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. I think, I think it's 5. After all, I've never done an evil deed in my life, so I'm not privy to the details. You need not worry about it. As long as you earn your good deeds by preaching and tithing, you shouldn't have cause to meet such a fate. Anchor Corps can be pretty hard on people who break the rules, too. But I don't know. That's totally different. I don't like it. Remember when they exiled you because you wouldn't stab your friend? Come to think of it, Walton will probably be uh, partaking in the gathering, too. Busy as he might be with service, joining the rituals, the duty of all believers. Uh, we'll take up on that offer to see the ritual, then. I'm being good to figure out if we want to join your faith or not. Of course, I'm thrilled to hear you're interested. The ceremony of purifying scales should be starting momentarily, in fact. The site's a sacred place suitable for freeing and purifying the souls of the people. Riverside's concert hall, uh, which we have uh, reserved for our use. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be heading over there now so I can form the reception and she'll be coming. Thanks. The holy concert hall. The Libra Domina feels more dangerous than I thought they would be. The silver line is that it sounds like our client's father is still well. The the catch should have been they're actually just a completely normal ass religion and dude just being uh like skeptical because they're new. That should have been the twist. I do hope we'll be able to find him at this meeting. Nothing we can do except roll with the punches. Did sound like everyone would turn up though. I'll be careful while we're there. Of course, a mistake could turn an entire room of disciples into enemies. Yeah, but like, when you have an AOE that hits the entire screen, you know, it doesn't really matter how many there are. I don't know what they were going on about with the concert hall being sacred or whatever. You know, let's stop these weirdos. You can't call them weirdos just because their beliefs are stupid. <laughs> Can't do that, fairy. Only I can do that. Hello again, everyone. I've been waiting for you. I've already spoken to the receptionist about your wish to observe our ceremony. It will begin momentarily. You ready to join us? Yeah, sure. Yep, show us in. Of course, come with me. God, 
God is here to us. We offer our gratitude on this holy day. I've done so many good deeds. I'm guaranteed a blessing. Glory to Libra Domina. Glory to Libra Domina. I already kind of regret coming here. It's so overwhelming. I'll excuse myself now. May our guru bless you all. Yeah, thanks. Goodness, they are certainly passionate. I sure are. Might be new and all, but I get the feeling they're soon going to be a big pain in the ass at this rate. Honestly, we're at the door already. we got to find our client's father first. I believe I've located him. That man over there might be him. How would you know? I can look his ass up on the criminal database. Good, the confirms he's alive at least. What do we do now? Everyone, let us offer up our prayers of gratitude for this day guided by the scales. Oh dear Adios, goddess of the sky, we thank you for this day of our salvation. Very well. In the name of Adios, I hereby proclaim the beginning of the ceremony of purifying scales. We shall correct the injustices that have been left untouched for right and wrong and purify our chaotic world. I'm like mindless drones and people here. Should we follow along as well? Nah, we're just observers, remember? Don't gotta do anything yet. I'm gonna creep the hell out anyway, just thinking about acting like them. Me too, I feel like even just imitating them would be an offense to Arusha. I mean, this part's not... I mean... It's maybe a little bit more orderly than your standard religious practice, but I mean, this is not the weird part, okay? I feel like you guys can't be throwing stones at this part. The whole, hey, give me all your money stuff, yeah, that's sussy. Um, but the whole, you know, devotion and, and stuff, that's that's pretty normal. Let us begin by rewarding those whose scales tip heavy with good deeds. Bower, Carson, Dolly, please step forward. Oh, worthy ties and deeds are attracting new followers have caught the eye of our goddess. Therefore, I grant you both the title Honorary Evangelicus. May you both be a role model for all followers of our faith. Honorary Evangelist? I'm hardly worthy of such a great honor. I'll dedicate my whole life to proving myself worthy of such a title. That's the same Carson we were speaking to before, yes? At least he looks happy, but with the donations and recruitments... Feels like a classic pyramid scheme in here. New Ford, trying to punish those who scale ship heavy with evil deeds. While we're watching, and two transgressors from the other day, please step up. There's Mr. Walton, but what does he mean by transgressors? Can you ask the computer to do a dictionary search for you? This is going from bad to worse. Earth the transgressor. Oh, follower of your faith you may be, or insincere. Here's deviance, or father of poor city authorities. Violating the teachings of atheists to sin heavier than any other. Now, for some hand anger, deserve divine punishment in her place. Screw that, you crazy cult that you're a madman! I'll stop by for the hell of it, I'm so done with this, let us go! And you follow Walton Sanders and receive the gods of divine punishment as well. I'm well aware that my tithes are insufficient and I failed to do a good enough good deeds. I've been trying very hard to serve the faith by handing out flyers and recruiting people. I'll serve as best I possibly can. Please, I beg for a merciful judgment. I'm going to mercifully strike with a lightning bolt. Would admit your failure of doing enough good deeds but fail to acknowledge all the evil burdens you carry with you. Will continue to fail to take responsibility for your past. Were you not a drinker and a gambler? One that neglected his family while at it? The lack of good deeds and the heavy weight of your evil deeds tips the goddess's scales ever away from her favor. Th that can't be! My skills are totally normal, man! Both of them are repenting and dedicated myself to my faith, my sins would go away and I'd be able to return to my family. That would only be possible if you were even on scales with good deeds. Are you object to the goddess's judgment? No! You needn't fear. 
Divine punishments it may be, our sacred ritual will cleanse you from your sins. All we need are the three wacky digits on the back of your credit card number. Open your arms wide to your judgment. I shall observe your ass moments myself. Away with you three. Bless today's judgments, ADO scales find themselves even once more. May you all continue with your good deeds ever more so that the goddess may acknowledge you. Glory to Libra Domina! Praise be to Libra Domina! This is utterly beyond the pale. Letting a religious movement like this stand is a threat to everyone. Makes me feel sick. Let's bounce before Carson gets back. Let's chase after our client's father and the rest. Afterwards, Van's team managed to sneak out of the concert hall without being noticed by Carson. When they got outside, they saw the guru boarding a luxury sedan driven by a Libra Domina follower. They also saw Walton and two transgressors being forced into a second car. Van approached the leader as they were climbing into the cars, managed to slip something into him unseen or onto him unseen. He just attached them to the guru's clothes? Was it a transmitter? That's the kind of thing you hear about in the spy novels and such. You got it, bit of an older model really, but it's the same grade used by foreign intelligence divisions and such. Got it through some, uh, very legal methods, okay? I'll send it signal straight to a Zypha. Let's report back to our client first. Gotta make sure he's aware that we found his dad. Allow me to make the report then. Go for it. Let's hurry, gang. Van and company got into their own car. Without the extendo cab. Soon after, the transmitter stopped and they arrived at the last place they could trace its signal. The sewers! God damn it. They've gone underground. <laughs> It's quite the ideal place for any illicit activities going undetected is your goal. Fuck. All y'all. Let's get after them or we're gonna lose them. Right! Man. Y'all some real motherfuckers, you know that? And not in the good way, like in the bad way. Okay, wait, can we? We can change this. You just can't change this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But keep this for now. So what would it be? So Aura Breath and Terrara we wouldn't need to have slotted. And Cataract's already in there. So we would basically be the same. We just wouldn't have access to Rara. We'd have Tarral, which kind of sucks because it's... I mean, she doesn't have that much mana. Like, her mana's a little in the, the assy department. How's her this might happen? Track is so old that signal's too weak to accurately follow underground like this. But I can smell them. Right, Van? You can smell them? No? That only happens when it is helpful sometimes? Can we split them and see if we can find them? Wait one moment. The transmitter's orbital waves are faint, but it is possible to detect them. If I use Mardic search software, I should be able to pinpoint the transmitter's rough location. You can do that? No, I was fucking with you. It worked. The transmitter is currently north of us and moving further into the ruins. Lady, what the hell is north? Alright, that's how I know you're a freaking robot. GPS ass. Head east. What the fuck is east? Alright, tell me left or right. You really did it. That's amazing. You're really earning your keep, huh? Let's get moving. Right. That hits the spot. Priceless cultural artifact gets destroyed. Okay. 
Hey, uh, we're spirits. We would like to be exercised. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just stay down here for another couple hundred years. And we've been here before? Oh, apparently we have. Which one is this? Is this like from the start of the game? Is this where Giacomo's hideout was? Are you guys like still level one? Did we apparently also we missed a chest. Hey yo uh, guys, what is this up? Okay, fine. Oh my. Quite the reception. Time for our Looks epic like loot. This is one of those chests that it's only uh you only get the good loot if you don't open it when you originally come. You gotta let it ferment. Uh, for a few thousand years, and then you come back, and then it's got something really cool in it. Or, actually, if you open that chest, you can't get the Zodiac Spear. Idiot. Stupid fool. How did you- you didn't know that, you dummy? Oh, you thought this- you- That you thought that 47 gil was really worth it, didn't, didn't you, idiot? Picking the two chests after you get all your equipment stolen, and the, there's the four chests in the room, and and then you you oh you can only open two of them. You can't open all four or something like that. I don't know. The first like 20 hours of Final Fantasy 12 does live kind of like rent free in my head, even if it has been like probably maybe eight years since I last played the game. Then I'll play it on an emulator. I think, this is, yeah, I guess it's been about eight years since I last played that game. What a good game. One of these days, I'll, we'll play it on the channel. Maybe 2040? Maybe? Anyway, we ain't got time to waste. We're going in. Several minutes before. And the first, like, the reason I, I specified the first 20 hours is because I think I just kept restarting the game over and over again. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel like I just get, like, stuck and, then, like, I wouldn't know what to do or something. And then I just, like, restart the game. <laughs> and so I've just played the beginning, like, 20-ish hours over and over. Like, I've only actually beaten the game. It's probably, like, maybe the game I put the most time into for only having beaten it once. For games that have, like, a definitive ending. Because I do remember, even when I did kind of replay it again, like, eight years ago, I never actually finished it. I just got to, like, the very end, and then was doing in-game stuff, and then never went back to actually beat the game. You can shove your divine punishment up your ass! Hades, please forgive me for my sins. Purification ritual before ceremony is now complete. Now I shall summon a servant of gas. Deliver a punishment. Ah, yeah, this is a part. Remember, remember the fruit? Spider? Oh, one of her six hands blessed us with a present. What the? That's no server, the guys, man. That's a monster. Can't believe it. <laughs> I admit that as much as I tried to make this seem like a legitimate church, this part crashed the line of believability. Unfortunately, it's the only powerful monster the artifact is capable of summoning, so I fear we'll have to do. Little nightmare to control. I'll have you know it refuses to do what I tell it unless it gets fed in a timely manner. What's the meaning of this? Have you been deceiving us, father? Are you fucking stupid? Of course I have. I just summoned a demon in front of you. Not at all. I never expected anyone to really believe my lies. I just so you just happen to be gullible enough to do so. I 
had to, had to take a sip of the sauce. I want to have a thing to meet your maker. Very much miss her. I exactly where you'll be going. Ha ha! I can't believe it. Is this the end for us? Is an apology what you want? I'll apologize all you want, so, uh... Sorry, Stefan. Sorry, dear. Forgive me for my stupidity. Good job adding yourself, you shady bastard. So anyway, Rosette started blasting. Deathblow proc, 10% chance, fuck you and your boss. Shouldn't expect you to have an artifact, though. When did you get your hands on that thing? Who are you? I know you. You were at a ceremony earlier. You got us. Royal Card Solutions and the son of one of those fine gents asked us to come investigate you. Look at me. Then Stefan sent you? Indeed, he wanted to know if you were safe and nothing more. However, now that you are in danger, we cannot turn a blind eye. Move behind us, everyone. Right. You should also know we totally recorded what you said earlier. I was disgusted with what I heard, too. You talk of good deeds, and yet it's all a scheme to make you money? What are you, a religion? If it wasn't bad enough, now you're treating these their lives like playthings. What are you even trying to do? You sure help. All I care about is getting rich. I had to do a dream of a plausible sounding church and flex my acne shop pillow. The mirror just floated right in. I stumbled on this artifact by complete coincidence. But let me get rid of anyone who stands in my way. I'm more than happy to keep your own it. I can't picture a better enterprise than this one. Maybe it's probably true that people shouldn't have fallen for your lies and wanted to earn money isn't a bad thing in itself. Not based, not based. Holy shit, she's unbased. Okay, I mean, that's actually fair, but... You're abusing the goddess's name, and your way of earning is just so shameless and scummy, you don't deserve to get away with it. Also, the murder? I feel like you're forgetting the fact that he was about to just murder these guys? And presumably has murdered other people? That this is not the first time people have been taken to get eaten by his squid? You're not free to think of who you want, because you'll be carrying your feelings to a grave in a few minutes. <laughs> Go forth. Squid attack. We're taking him down. How do you think we're gonna survive this squid game? <laughs> okay, why? Well, I, I really honestly didn't think that dude had that much dialogue when I gave him the stupid voice. I feel like that happened last time too. This will hurt. Anyway, hitting it from the back, you already know. Um. Okay, cast that on fairy. And fairy, you are very annoying. That's hitting them. Her foot's touching the line. All right. For the record, their foots are in the damn line. Oh, I don't want you to move. I don't know. It's attack. There. I won't let this chance slip by. I won't let this chance slip by. Help. <laughs> don't mind me. Pull out all the stuff. Eh. 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 <laughs> don't mind me. This is it. Sonic. <laughs> that shit did kind of hurt it. Payback time. Bring it on. <laughs> no. All you want. Okay, you should be. Okay, you're not actually that close to being stunned, but you're like, in theory, you're close to being stunned. You know. Protect us. Is this shield HP region? Nah, couldn't be me. Why does her shield cost 70? May we proceed with caution. Grab the light! Right here! Oh, no. Okay, I need you to... 
Well, actually, we should have done that differently. Oh, I didn't mean to. I wanted to use fairies, but she didn't. Well, no, we could have. I feel like our thing was blacked out, though. You got no CP. Hit him fast, huh? Barry. Here goes. You're dead, sir. Payback time. You have been la killed. You have been so totally la killed. You don't even know how la killed you are. As previously mentioned, don't death blow me, motherfucker. Payback time. You'll pay for that. The good old makes me so this mad I could scream. This will hurt. Uh, excuse me? me. I didn't realize Van was a little little boy. Guess we didn't have him boosted anymore. Better. Yeah, you could. Are you alright, father? Well, I'm fine. I don't remember my pet would be afraid. He's fine. He just got tuckered out, man. Can we get him to join the squad? He can replace Aaron. Or Fairy. That thing was tough. And now you've lost and it's time for you to admit it and let everyone go. Oh, man. I'm gonna play my flute. Get back up. Man, wait for him for me. What's that sound? Is it from the ceiling or the flute? I think it was both. That's bad. They're both at their limit. If he blows the flute again, it's gonna break and the monster's gonna go berserk. He's gonna make the crack in the ceiling even bigger and that'll bring the entire thing down. Did I finish out the monster before that can happen? Yeah? Why wouldn't you? I'm trying to warn our con man priest even if he's probably not gonna listen. Why, why would I not kill the monster? Like, it should be dead already. It's a, it's an evil squid. Monsters, you know. There's not like there's an ethical dilemma here. It's, it's, a, it's an evil creature from beyond the pale. Got a ton of stress over this. We're gonna have to finish the monster. Oh, oh. No, what can happen? Like, isn't it, like, don't these have the same outcome? We say, don't play the flute. He says, no. And then he, no. Has still this much strength left? It's more formidable than I thought. Short on time here. What do you mean? Get the other guys out of the room. I handle the monster on my own. Understood. Then please be careful. Wait, he will. I hope this works. Give me your worst. Okay. Got him. <laughs> Would really prefer not to do a 1v1 with Van. You'll pay for that. Okay, it doesn't have that much HP. We basically just need to like not die and get an S craft. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the regen will be nice. Here goes. Don't don't You'll blind me. How much regen do you even get from this? Not that much. You'll pay for that. I wonder if that doesn't death flow, or if we're just getting lucky. Because back in the day, that shit death blowed. Here goes. Brace yourself. Vandalize.
Whew, that was a close one. I mean, it kind of wasn't, but... I think the ceiling will hold much longer either way, though, so I better hurry on out of here. I can't believe this happened. I'm supposed to be a vegetable if like I had that flute. Almost forgot about you. Fine, I'll drag you out of here too. Oh, dang. He got killed. Not a moment too soon, huh? I had no idea that ceiling was about to collapse. I'm amazed you realize, Zan. More than anything, I'm just glad that everyone's alright. Couldn't agree more. Regardless, we're gonna need you to take this con man and robes into custody. Should we hand him over to the police when we get back to the surface? This seems a bit much for us to handle on our own. Yeah, I think that's the best plan. As you, I got somewhere else to take you. Does that mean... Hey, I'm glad you're okay, Dad. I feel like you lost a bit of weight since I last saw you, though. Maybe I did. Well, I'm so sorry for worrying you, son. I was just so desperate to get our family back together, the church gave me hope that I might, and I foolishly clung to it. After everything, I was led astray again. I'm so ashamed. I still have to work to do to be the man I want to be. Uh, if anything, it's good to see you being so honest with yourself. Don't worry, I'll be here to support you through it all, Dad. We'll improve together, no matter how long it takes. Oh, Stefan, thank you. It's nice seeing a happy ending. I really can't thank you enough. Nor can I. I shudder to think what would have happened if you hadn't come in to help when you did. Thank you so much. I don't mention it, just doing my job. The guru and his accomplices have been executed. Immediately, because they're murderers. Right on the spot, in the streets. I'm certain it's only a matter of time that the police dismantles the church itself. And the police said they would help with the care of anyone feeling the shock of the events that just happened. What about the people who totally got eaten by the squid? Now you can do your best not to cause any more trouble. Oh, of course, you got my word on that. I think it's about time to let you get back to work. Once more, thank you and take care. Same to you. Mission accomplished. Great job, you guys. I don't know, man. I think dude was kind of spitting and we maybe shut down a legitimate religion. We got a little bit of everything, apparently. That quest didn't say it could give any law XP, man. Liars, and then it gave me more law than anything else. Alright. So we'll call it here. Next time, we'll, uh, we'll finish up Station Street. And probably just do talking since we actually did something this video next video that means we take the day off one for me one for you i guess maybe one for nobody who knows who knows what that lady said i didn't hear a word she said i just heard nowadays i say damn true damn true brother it's like fucking like noon man you can't be this sauced up it's noon on like a... Okay, it's a Saturday at least. That's still too early, but more... Less bad than if it was like a like a Thursday or something. Alrighty. I'm actually using 87 to do my next part. And bye guys!